Hi there everybody, it's Verity here from inkbutterfly.wordpress.com Thank you for joining me again today and we're making this lovely card with some different colours so the colour combination has been prompted by a little Facebook colour challenge so what we've got is uh, Granny Apple Green, Cherry Cobbler, Rich Razzlebury and Blushing Bride so those are the colours that we've used um, to make the card and I'm also using the Peace and Joy uh, photopolymer stamp set and the Coordinating Joy dies. Um, these will be retiring, so if you, these are um, uh, stamps and dies that you really, really want, then, you put, then make sure you um, get your hands on those. Um, we've also got the stitch rectangles um, that are coming into play as well um, to cut our layers. So um, those are available. Of course, if you don't have the stitch rectangles, then um, you can use other uh, your trimmer or something to um, to cut those particular pieces. So things we need then. Um, I've already got my rich raspberry card base and a card layer, which is three by four and three quarters. I've already die cut my piece of vellum. I also need to do some blushing bride as well. So. We'll just run that through um, just ever so quickly using the stamping cut and emboss machine. Really, really great machine to use. Very easy. Okay, and that, that just pops straight out. So we've got that ready to go. And then I've got this scrap of cardstock which we'll cut our white layer with, but we also want to stamp and die cut our um our piece message as well okay so i've already got the piece mounted on a h block one of my favorite blocks h and d are the ones that i use the most they seem to fit most stamp sets okay so making sure that's well inked and we'll press that into the middle there. Just firm and even pressure. No great strength required. You just need to be able to press it down. And I'm just going to get that stamp cleaned off. Photopolymer stamps will, will stain. But I just want to get that wet ink off just to minimise that. Give that a really good clean. And that gave, gave that time to dry, so we're going to cut our white rectangle. Let's get that out of my way before I stick something in it. These these dies line up beautifully with the text. I'm going to tuck that in place with some washi tape with a, the shadow and the other rectangle. So those can all go through together. Saves a bit of time. So long as your dies don't overlap, this is fine. So uh, put in that little bit of tape to make sure that they don't move is a good idea. And they've die cut so um, brilliantly, they've just fallen out, so that's it. All our elements just there. So we'll layer up um, this with our wet glue so it's got time to dry. I'm sure we need it. So I'm just going to put some dabs of glue onto these um, larger areas and just add that over the top. We'll press it and we'll leave that to dry completely while we do our other little pieces. So we're going to stamp the holly. We'll do the leaves first with our granny apple green. So we just want one to fit in at the top and turn it round and put one at the bottom. 
Okay. And then our berries will be in Sherry Cobbler. Oh, almost a cherry cobbler ink all over me then. Being clumsy. So we'll just place our berries in like so. Really lovely set to work with. So um, just so easy to build up the images. Okay, I'm just making sure it's clean before I put it to one side. And that is our um, little piece ready to go, okay, and that's going to go over the top. We want to layer that onto our blushing bride um, element. So um, the other thing with this I've just realised is it doesn't really say Merry Christmas per se, so um, someone who didn't celebrate Christmas could also enjoy um, this particular card. And then we're going to layer it onto our vellum. Okay. Oh, run out. So I'll show you how to change that. Didn't realise I was that close to the end of that. Um, let's just um, just show you this quickly then. So the the case um, just comes apart if you just sort of um, wiggle it a bit. Here we are. So, and this insert just comes out like so. So that just actually just gets thrown away. Two cartridges come into these resealable bags, um, but I don't um, store mine in a sealable sealable bag. Apparently. Um, this helps just in, in particularly humid environments to make sure that the uh, the glue doesn't um, dry out or get icky or whatever. But in this in the, in the UK, no, no, it's not necessary at all. And then you just put it back together again like that. You see, you'll be able to just about see in real life that the tape's there. So the packaging is recyclable. Okay, so easy peasy. So what we'll do is we'll add the, uh, our um, our panel into the middle of the card. Just like that. Okay, and we're going to add this with dimensionals. So. The pink cardstock means that no um, glue will be showing through our vellum. Just take those off. Nice and easy. If you want a bit of manoeuvrability, if you put a dab of um, the glue on the back, it gives you the opportunity to just to move that around. So that you're happy it is lined up where you want it to be. There we are. And then we just want a couple of dimensionals in the middle of this to add that as well. So I'm just putting it in the middle so that it just sticks to this um this panel. And that is it really. Um, optional bling of course. If that's what you fancy then add, do add it. I think we'll go in there. And that is it. A very different colourway. Uh, slightly non-traditional but um, nonetheless a really really pretty card uh, for this time of year uh, that doesn't necessarily say Merry Christmas. I really hope you've enjoyed that. If you check out the description, there will be links to the products I've used. This will be retiring, this stamp set and dies. So uh, do get in there quick. 
and uh, make sure you have it in your basket already. Take care everybody, see you again soon, bye.